Hi and welcome. My name is Roxana and this is my first video. I've been thinking about starting a channel for, I don't know, more than six years. And I've been talking and talking and talking to my friends, my family about my ideas and they have been like supportive and <laughs> said, yeah, yeah, go for it, do it. But like for six years, it's been a little bit too long now. So I don't think that they actually believe that I will post this because I am. So here I am starting this channel and this channel is going to be about acting and me trying to get out of my comfort zone, kind of like personal development. <laughs> um, I've always wanted to become an actress ever since I was a kid. But the problem was that I was very shy and insecure and just getting attention, I mean, at a family dinner was uncomfortable. I didn't like attention. I mean, I wanted to be invisible sometimes. And as I grew up, that didn't change. This is a perfect example because I remember that I was so scared, but at the same time, I was determined to go in for it. And then when I was into it, I started to feel embarrassed and started to dance offbeat on purpose because I didn't want my parents to compliment me or see me. When I started high school, things really started to go bad because I had chosen a school that was situated one hour away from my home. And first I had to take the commuter train and that was horrible because there I felt like everyone was staring at me. And then when I got to the central station at 7.30 o'clock in the morning, it was so much people rushing. And for some reason, I also felt that people were looking at me there. That made me super <clears throat> self-conscious. And to distract myself, I had to call someone or I had to walk with someone, like a friend or something. And then I took the subway to change to the bus. And when I got to the school, it was a very big school with 2000 students. So that also made it like unbearable. And it got so bad that I got anxiety the night before I even had to go to school. And in the morning I started to feel bad. I was like, oh, I have a headache or my, my stomach hurts. I don't know how I was thinking when I <laughs> when I chose that school um, but it was like the worst decision ever. I had 25% absence on these three years of high school and it was so close that I wouldn't even graduate but still I wanted to become an actress which is super weird I know because that really means that you're going to stand on a stage, everyone will look at you, but still it's not the same, but it is the same, but it's not. So, um, and of course now I started to feel that it was more serious. Like I need to take the step now. And as I feel right now that I have to do this YouTube channel, I felt the same way about acting. And I dared to tell people around me about this. And they immediately started to have opinions and judging. And they said that, how are you going to do this if you don't like the attention? Do you understand that this is probably the most competitive job in the world? You should do something else that you're good at. And the more they told me that I shouldn't, the more I just wanted to prove them wrong. So I started to look for schools that didn't have audition at first. And so I applied, I entered. After four months, I went to do an audition at the University of Dramatic Arts in Stockholm. I wasn't admitted, of course, but that was one of the biggest milestones of my life. I... I mean, it was a life turning experience. I would never have thought that I would dare to do that. So the fact that I did actually do it and I survived, 
that made me realize that I can do anything, anything, if it's truly, truly something that I want and is important to me. In total, I studied acting for six years full time and I've attended many workshops and courses. And while I was doing that, I felt safe. But as soon as I'm on my own, I start to doubt if my ideas are good enough. Like this channel again. I just start to think of all the things that are bad with my ideas. That people won't like it, blah, blah, blah. And so I've been so lost since I don't know what way to go. If I should stay in Sweden or if I should go. And if I would go, where would I go? Or should I stay and learn a new language so that I can pretend that I'm from another country because I don't look like a typical Swede. Uh, by the way, my mom is Swedish, my father is Peruvian. So along with this and many other thoughts made me go and talk to a psychologist. And there I was diagnosed with avoidant personality disorder and borderline. Avoidant personality disorder have similarities with social phobia but AVPD goes deeper because it was developed when you were a kid. And borderline means that you're emotionally unstable and it impacts the way you think and feel about yourself and others. When I got diagnosed with that, it was like everything fell to place. I, I, I could start to understand why I, for example, the right to school. Why was that such a big deal? Yeah, because of this. And why is it so hard for me to talk to people or apply to something, go to an audition, because I'm afraid that people won't like me, because I'm afraid that people will judge me and that they will make fun of me. I mean, they, all these, you know. But I have been going to therapy for two years now. So I am working on it <laughs> every day and I'm trying to go against the things that I'm afraid of like this so that's why this is so important to me for myself and then if I would have subscribers people that would look at this it would be as I said funny nice happy I would get happy if you would like to follow my dream but that's what this is going to be about so if you want to follow this channel, it's going to be super unpredictable because I really don't know what's going to happen. I can tell you that right away. But yeah, no, no buts. I just, that's what you will follow. So if you want to follow my dream, then subscribe. Um, thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!